Hi everyone, Professor uh, Mohamed Shaw with you. Uh, our subject today is to talk about uh, uh, solar uh, hydropower uh, for uh, desalination purposes. Let's go for, uh, you have to assign your uh, folder, your, the folders that you, you have downloaded your uh, uh, model. So I, I already assigned it here, from here. On this it is um, this is very important okay so in your uh, menu browser you have to uh, I, I do recommend to sort by name and a group by, by type so you, you will find your models uh, are here so we have uh, actually for uh, solar hydro uh, solar uh, we are going to, do, to use um, concentrated solar uh, gas engine Sterling engine dish power for reverse osmosis desalination, and we have two types of uh, modeling. We have uh, a single based running model, and we have um, dynamic modeling with respect to signal builder um, uh, time changing. Let's go for this is a, a ordinary model. Let's go for ordinary and simple and straightforward one okay as you can see here uh, our our model um, is consisted of uh, three main uh, or four main uh, uh, blocks we have concentrated solar gas engine and hydro power system and uh, control room in order to split the power load on which uh, f fully solar power or fully hydro or uh, simultaneously between uh, both and we have um, a reverse osmosis uh, desalination part for um, uh, each of each of um, of these blocks you can control and uh, assign some inputs uh, you, but first of all you have to check your from view model browser check all of this so our model is ready to uh, uh, run okay Okay, for concentrated solar gas engine, you can choose between um, uh, which type, which engine you are going to use. I do recommend Sterling engine. You have Sterling and Brighton. I do recommend Sterling engine because it's um, most efficient. And based on my previous um, uh, research uh, publications, I do recommend to use carbon dioxide, uh, polyatomic gases, and room angles around um, 40 or uh, 37. Uh, top cycle temperatures around 800 for most efficient one. Lower bottoming cycles, ambient temperature, I will consider it at 25. Okay, and for breathing conditions, we are going to inspect the effect of solar dish just within 12 hours okay just for 12 hours we have solar radiation uh, um, so the, the radiation from the location I, I will check this for one thousands i will consider this for one thousands okay and sterling engine power it's around 25 up to 30 or 60 uh, kilowatt I, I will stick with 30 Sterling number of cylinders five or four, normal uh, speed of uh, the engine. A Brighton engine. This is a powerful Brighton engine. For performance, you have to assign uh, generator efficiency, receiver efficiency. You can choose material of your uh, mirrors or reflect reflectors, and absorptivity. And some cost uh, considerations like dish cost, uh, receiver cost. It's some kind of initial costs. Okay, I'll keep this. Okay, this is for Sterling dish engine. Let's go for uh, reverse osmosis. Okay. You can we we are, we are going to choose uh, most efficient. We have basic and belt to weight drive and pressure exchanger. Let's go for pressure exchanger. Elliot's water temperature, what is your seawater salinity range, okay, 
and design what is your uh, suppose I'm going for 5000 meter cube per day for uh, uh, number of uh, brochure vessels and number or, uh, of elements uh, per each vessel I keep this at seven elements uh, bombing efficiency recovery ratio I will you can choose your um, membrane type I will, suppose I'm going for brackish water so I have to choose this one and this is recovery ratio around 30 um, and uh, this is for filter with drive uh, for pressure exchanger this is your outlet pressure booster bomb efficiency and pressure exchanger efficiency and this is a splitted feed uh, from the um, uh, before going to the high pressure pump uh, this is splitter efficiency uh, I'm sorry this is splitter ratio okay we demonstrated this before so I'm, I'm not going to stay here for long for um, hydro power let's go for hydro power for hydro power we have upper tank uh, pulse width bus turbine lower tank and centrifugal bomb let's go inside from here you can go inside and okay this is a stalling engine block and this is refuse osmosis this is um pressure exchanger okay okay for uh, for hydro power we have four blocks upper tank lower tank uh, and the yeah, filter wheel uh, pulse turbine and centrifugal bomb and centrifugal bomb will need of course um, the concentrated solar gas engine another concentrated solar gas engine for uh, another area of, of solar for uh, centrifugal bomb uh, power we can um, assign our uh, operating hours tank diameters okay the same for lower one for impulse turbine we have to assign uh, uh, cost what is your cost i think it's just a cost it's it's around uh, uh one thousand up to eight thousand uh, us dollar per kilowatt uh, for design you can uh for self self-running model you can assign your can control your power but from here the power is going to be assigned from the reverse osmosis load okay therefore we have to assign what is our total head okay and specific speed yeah ratio um, diameter ratio to um, of uh, of uh, jet because we have here jet and the diameter of the of the wheel of the impulse turbine is around one over nine um, uh, shaft speed okay you can control shaft speed and uh, this is jet deflection angle and water density okay for centrifugal bomb we have to assign some operative conditions or physical properties water dynamic viscosity and density performance what is your efficiency bump efficiency uh, speed bump speed uh, the tubes diameter in through the system and some uh, you can assign some losses okay let's go for um, uh, splitter unit for control unit if you assign our output uh, between uh, one and zero for one uh, this is fully solar uh, op op uh, operating conditions and for zero it's fully hydro power uh, system let's go for uh, 0.3 uh, ratio of load I'm sorry Okay, set apply. Okay, uh, membrane annual replacement. I think it's around. I will keep this, and 
cost considerations plant lifetime uh, interest rates capital uh, the capital cost for versus Moses and I will keep all of uh, these uh, changes of uh, okay uh, let's hit run and see so w we just assigned our um, uh, inputs let's hit run and see our results okay okay our results as you can see here for the load from reverse osmosis based on our productivity let's go inside reverse osmosis and see okay okay this is power consumption for uh, reverse osmosis with operating with pressure exchanger we have to um, uh, we have to generate around 500 kilowatt power for a specific bulk consumption 2.4 um, and pressure difference over the high pressure bump nearly around uh, 65 bars quite normal and this is our mass flow rate of the feed we need this feed we need this brine okay and this is salinity uh, um, gradients uh, of the brine and uh, the distillate salinity some exergetic analysis okay so for this power for this power also you can discover your poster bump power uh, pressure exchanger power uh, feed salinity through the, the mixture unit okay so what is really important is this one we need 500 of kilos therefore let's go for uh, the load I'm sorry yes 500 as you as you we I do yes uh, it's around 70 percent of the load of the 500 is responsible responsible from uh, the hydropower and 30 percent is responsible from the solar uh, uh, stirling engine let's go suppose I'm going for uh, 0.7 okay 70 percent load on concentrated solar uh, power okay let's hit run and see 70 percent of 500 kilowatt therefore we need to uh, we need 300 kilowatt of power uh, from the solar uh, engine and 100 of power from the hydro let's go inside sterling engine and see our results this is our concentration ratio, uh, total plant uh, area. There for 300 uh, kilowatt, we need this, this area. Uh, uh, it's around 100 uh, for uh, for one dish, dish diameter, uh, dish height, receiver area, receiver diameter, uh, rim angle ratio, focal length, number of dishes. We need around 12 dishes for uh 300 plus kilowatts efficiency of stealing efficiency total plant efficiency uh, engine co compression ratio a specific uh volume minimum maximum specific volume of the engine minimum specific volume a piston volume piston stroke uh, stealing to pressure uh, uh, pressure ratio mean effective pressure and capital costs and total billion cost here engine and dish and facilities this is your total billion cost for 300 kilowatt hour oh, uh, okay uh, uh, don't forget that for um, we are going we are using we are using from here we are using uh, co2 if you change this your results will, uh, will change okay let's go for this osmosis we do not see this let's go for okay for hydro power system okay upper tank volume this is your upper tank volume and this is your tank head for one kilowatt 100 kilowatt filter wheel turbine this is turbine and bus turbine efficiency hydraulic efficiency this is your discharge through the cycle through the hydraulic systems 
turbine pressure, jet velocity, you can change this results in order to obtain optimum uh, design limits okay and uh, turbine velocity wheel diameter number of jets number of buckets and uh, total plan cost this is your hydro cost okay and let's go for um, uh, lower tank lower tank the same height the same discharge the same volume for centrifugal pump let's go for uh, our pump we need 200 kilowatt of power this is the discharge uh, this is head with around total head uh, around 300 meter uh, in order to uh, uh, generate such power um, tube head losses pressure uh, specific pump speed uh, flow rate and so on for centrifugal pump uh, okay for centrifugal pump power this is our plant we need for we need 700 meter for centrifugal pump this diameter 100 per each uh, dish receiver area is the same for number of dishes is eight and for for solar power we need 12 so our total is around 20 dishes uh, eight for centrifugal pump and 12 for main uh, source of power and this is a control room we can inspect our this is unit product cost or total water price this is our total water price we have to sell our uh, uh, one one ton of water by 0.65 us dollar you can actually also calculate your annual total costs annual hydro costs and annual uh, concentrated solar gas energy costs and a lot of um, data you can extract from uh, this model the next one we are going to 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 change this dynamically i have to go for infinity and let's hit on i'm i'm going to hit on here and i'm going to change the load between two sides that's decreasing the load on concentrated solar engine as you can see here and decreasing okay and we can see uh, some changes okay and let's change uh, the power uh, I'm sorry the productivity I'm going to increase the productivity okay uh, at the same time I will increase the number of pressure vessels okay let's go for 10,000 I'm sorry 10,000 meter cube per day up to okay let's go for more okay that's enough for this this is just demonstration demonstration order to see um, uh, how to change your variables and how uh, what about our results uh, which are we change it with this time let's go here and you can select our outputs this is your uh, unit product cost surely it changed because we change we have changed um, many many parameters annual total costs for hydro and as you can see here the hydro is um, the most costly than uh, than the solar annual this is for solar in solar area this is solar area centrifugal bomb head uh, this is charge and we can go for um, this is a pressure difference I'm sorry the pressure difference across the, the reverse osmosis uh, feed product uh, feed flow rate blind flow rate and we have uh, load on this is your load on uh, solar gas engine and this is load on hydro as you can see here this is the difference okay 
and tank, tank volumes and um, a specific bar consumption as you can see here exergy analysis uh, reversibility rate and so on so we have here uh, a model so we can uh, rely on in order to uh, replace the batteries of the photovoltaic and we can choose a solar gas engine for stability more stability and uh, ac current direct it's ac current and we can replace uh, during the daylight we can store our uh, power into hydro okay and then we can restore this power as a backup uh, at night in order to operate uh, reverse osmosis uh, the next video is, is uh, we are going to uh, working on signal builder and um, the more dynamic uh, alternatives for this model finally I would like to thank you very much for your interest in, um, in our model uh, don't forget to like share and subscribe uh, thank you very much